two conductors, one stage. But this is no ordinary performance. Sharing the stage with conductor Magnus Lodgaard is a robot, a unique partnership put together to celebrate the 25th jubilee of Dresden Symphony Orchestra, making the impossible possible, like being able to simultaneously conduct three tempos, something no human could do alone. It's a strange feeling, but it's, it's mostly fun. Uh, it's, um, of course, it's something I've never seen before. It's a bit frightening. This robot cannot work yet without a little bit of help. Its arms are individually directed by human hands. However, artificial intelligence could be used in the future. But not everyone is convinced, including Professor Frank Fitzek from SETI, the Center for Tactical Internet with Human in the Loop, where the arms were trained. AI will consume a lot of energy. Applying AI to everything is not the solution. And while working with robots can be exciting for the musicians, it does not come without its challenges. It's an exciting project, but it's stressful, because we drummers have to read cues from these three different robot arms. Another hurdle is the robot's limit range of motion compared to a human conductor, making it harder to interpret dynamics and expression. It's just beating the, doing the beats, which is fine, it's okay. But I mean, the music is so much more. But despite the challenges, conductor Magnus Lodgaard still believes this unique collaboration between human and machine is worth it. We need to be part of the development, you know, we need to stay at front of, uh, you know, being in front of the development and see what can we actually use this for, which is actually useful to us. And as long as we are humans and we are making music, we are not frightened yet. So while the robots are not taking over just yet, this innovative concert does show that collaborations between robots and humans can lead to something exciting, even if the relationship is not always harmonious.